Hey everybody, this is Stephen Moore, also known as Uncle Phantasmo. The next step in the assembly of this trebuchet is going to be how to set up the joints so that everything so should supposedly all work together uh, in an appropriate way. Um, so to start, let's go, um, let's just start in on it. Um, I'm going to select the component uh, for the bucket. I'm going to go to assembly as built joint because I've already pushed uh, put things into position that I want them to be in. I'm going to select to go with a revolve uh, motion type and I'm looking whoa as you can see it didn't do what I meant for it to do as built capture position, revolve, and I need it to be on, I need it to revolve around the same axis as the, um, the hinge here, but uh, I have this sketch in the way, so I'm going to get rid of that. Try it again. So, bucket, assembly, as built, capture position, and then we're going to select we got to revolve. There we go. We're going to do the same again with the hinges. Assembly as built, revolve. And we're going to select the this pin here. And we're going to try and get the center of the pin. So sometimes you gotta mess around with the angle. And see that time it didn't quite grab it right. Um, it's chosen to have the pivot point of the uh, thing to not work and that I believe is because we have too many components. So that component, revolve, select position to be, I'm going to hide the arm, it's getting in the way, there we go, and then I'm going to bring back my arm, I'm going to hide, actually all that should be good, uh, this time I'm going to change the, the um, pins that we've created in the last tutorial, uh, I'm going to select Select them um, and make sure that they have the appropriate uh, pivot points and everything is working proper with them. So try to find pivot point I want. Component, component two is going to be the arm. Yeah, didn't like that one. Uh, sometimes it takes just a little bit of trial and error to get this right. Uh, I'm going to get rid of things that are extraneous. Basket, basket, shoot pins. That's the pin we want. And hinge. Alright, so now I should be able to have access to the things that I need. So I'm going to select the, um, the body that I want to pivot around. interesting I don't want it to slide like it chose to uh, that's not the desired uh, thing I want and that just means that I selected the wrong central pivot point so I think I can hit if I hit if I hold down control anything I'm hovering over now I can select the pivot points for that so I'm gonna select that and then I'm gonna select the center pivot point there we go. Now it's rotating the way it's supposed to, uh, in the way that we want. Um, the arm, we're going to grab that joint as built. Select the arm. Let's make sure we have the right pivot points for it. Evolve. 
second pivot point. There we go. Now that's rotating the way it's supposed to. And then finally, we want to select, going to bring back our support. We're going to assemble uh, as build joint again, selecting our first and our support. Oh, I've already created that joint, um, but we're going to do it anyway. So the center of that and should now that is working good but I still want oh, actually I think that's all set up and I think and you can always uh, yell at me in the forums uh, that I did it wrong uh, and if you do yell at me do it nicely uh, because I'm still pretty new to this and I just think that I've done it right so uh, yeah uh, that is how I set up the joint system for this trebuchet. Thanks for watching. Uh, in the next tutorial, let's see what we're going to cover. We're going to cover materials and how to make it look like uh, what we want it to look like. So I'll see you in a moment.